My word, do you really think Josephine lives there? Yes, this is the castle I was telling you about. Somebody is leaving in that coach. I wonder if Josephine is inside all alone. Mm. As soon as her husband rode off, Josephine, with keys in hand, began to explore the castle. Which room should she pick first? She quickly chose one and turned the key in the lock. The door opened and... Wonderful. All the money in the world must be stored here. The whole room is covered in gold coins. I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> this is better than any dream. <laughs> oh, they're so gorgeous. Oh. This is how a princess should always look. around till she was quite dizzy with happiness. She was a princess at her own ball, and the hours just flew by. My husband is quite right. Real life is much better than dreams, as long as I have these keys to open so many treasures. Oh, I almost forgot. There's that little dark door. Something is drawing me toward it. What could possibly be locked up behind it? There is a room which must never be opened. I forbid it. Can I trust you with this key? The gold key is the only one left to try, and I am forbidden to use it. I have opened up all the other rooms except the one I am most curious about. I wonder if I dare try it. Maybe I could see if it fits the lock without actually opening the door. Oh, maybe I should try just looking through the keyhole. Maybe not. Do not pry, Josephine. Why must I be held to such a promise when nobody's around to see if I keep my word or not? How will he ever know? It is important that you keep your word, Josephine. Do not forget. I wish I could forget that room, but something keeps drawing me toward that door. I cannot be sure if it is only my imagination or if this key has some power over me. I'm frightened. I feel so weak. Oh, oh, no, no. This key seems to be pulling my hand. It will not let go. I wish I knew what was happening. Josephine was torn between her own vivid curiosity and her word. She had promised not to open one particular door. And this was indeed the door of the forbidden room. Her struggles against temptation were in vain. She was holding in her hand a magical key, and it seemed to have a power she could not resist. It pulled her down the stairs and guided her hand until the key was slipped into the lock. It was too late oh. to turn back now. It fits. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Unbeknownst to Josephine, the beautiful white roses outside the castle were magically turning red too. And unexpectedly, her husband was returning home from his journey. Let's finish up here and go ask Josephine if we can dry off in the castle. We can take her this firewood. Mm -hmm. I hope we can get this wet wood to burn. Gee, it must be cold in there. My keys, Josephine. They are right here waiting for you. See? Very good. You may keep them, Josephine. All my treasures are yours if you've kept your word. I must examine the golden key. Give it to me. All right. Here it is. I'm very pleased you are wearing that white dress. Did you know it is my favorite one? Yes, but I don't know why. You see, white is the color of purity and complete innocence. It possesses a magical power to detect truth and honesty. Only a lie can stain it. Oh? Uh, oh. Place the key on my handkerchief. Oh. Oh. Now! Oh. 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 oh! It can't be! I cleaned it! You have broken your word, Josephine. Now you must pay as did the others for disobeying me. could have had everything. Now it's too late. You will take your place with my other untrustworthy wives. Oh, no, please, no, no. <laughs> hey, something's wrong. Look at all the smoke. Huh? It could be on fire. Come on, let's help. I cannot forgive you. I made all your dreams come true, and I gave you the keys to my riches, no. but that wasn't enough. You had to have my secrets, too. I had hoped you might be the one wife who would not disappoint me, Josephine. I am a merciful man. You will not suffer a long and painful end. This magical sword will work swiftly! Josephine, you cannot escape from me now, so do not even try! Why do you make this so difficult? I am determined to have my revenge. Stand where you are, Josephine. The time has come. Now! Josephine! Where are you? Get him! We must leave now! Hurry! As Josephine and her brothers fled the castle, the fire began to spread everywhere. 
They watched in silence as Bluebeard and all of his magnificent possessions were consumed by the flames. Josephine's dream was gone, but something far greater had taken its place, her newfound wisdom. For a moment, she had been a princess, but she had forgotten to be caring and trustworthy. The treasures of her dream had vanished, but her new riches of love and trust would last forever.